This is the beautiful Yellowstone Park. Whoa! Oh my goodness! Oh wow, look at that! Now, Yellowstone Park was the world's first national park, and it has over 2 million acres. That's larger than Rhode Island and Delaware combined. Now, there are just so many species and animals and rocks and all sorts of crazy shit to be found in Yellowstone Park. Now, look at this. You see, what's so interesting is that there's snow and then it gets very hot. Uh, Yellowstone Lake, incidentally, is the largest high-altitude lake in North America. Oh, look how pretty! Look at that snowfall! Brr, it looks freezing, chilly chill. Now, in addition to a lot of wildlife, Yellowstone National Park is known for having more geysers than anywhere else on this planet! Look at that shit just spout up from the ground. It's crazy. And Old Faithful, of course, is their most famous geyser. Oh my goodness, there are big and small geysers. And I gotta tell you, these species, look, there's bison and that wolf is just running around. And look, here's a bee trying to get some sweet, sweet nectar from the flowers. Yes, indeed, it's all here at Yellowstone National Park. I gotta say, you know, they have the largest concentration of wildlife in the lower 48 states. Oh, there's a bear in the snow. What are you looking for, bear? You're not gonna find honey in that ground. You will find perhaps a geyser though. Geysers are just so fascinating. Now Riverside Geyser in the Upper Geyser Basin shoots at an angle across the Firehole River. And when it does, sometimes you can see a rainbow. Oh wow, look, now the snow is melting. You see, oh look at that beautiful waterfall. I mean, if you love nature, this is where you have to go. You have to visit Yellowstone Park. It is just absolutely phenomenal. Now let me tell you something. They have so many steams and spouts and geysers and beautiful flowers and all these animals. Seven species of bison and moose. There are two different species of bears. And they have over 1,000 different kinds of plants. Now look at this. Sometimes there are fires that happen, right? And it's basically because of all that crazy shit, like the geysers and the weather. And because of global warming and all this crazy shit, I mean, it's really affecting places like Yellowstone Park. Because it's hot, and then it's cold, and then there's fire, and then it's humid. I mean, ultimately what's happening is because of the weather and the environment, it is really wrecking havoc on the habitat for all these species. And there are effects that you can actually physically see. It's happening all over the place. Well, take a look at this leaf. I mean, what the fuck? Yellowstone National Park, beautiful.